The second important debate that we have had today concerns the expanded endocrine treatment for more than five years. So the standard till a very few years ago in the treatment of endocrine therapy was to give treatment for five years, tamoxifen or aromatase inhibitors. We have a plethora of new trials showing that expanding treatment for more than five years could increase or could prevent re la late relapses. Unfortunately, breast cancer is a non-aggressive disease, but that means that you can see long-term relapses at 5, 10, or even 15 years. So this expanded treatment will reduce the risk of late relapses in this population. Again, the debate is about which patients are good candidates for this treatment and which patients we can already consider that they do not deserve more endocrine therapy after five years. Just because, again, there's a problem also of quality of life and toxicity. What we can assume right now, and that's very important, is that at least we should inform all patients about this fact. And that when patients achieve this five years treatment, even if we do not consider that the patient is a good candidate because the risk, the patient should be informed because it's also a negotiation. The patient could be comfortable with the treatment with no toxicity effects and even if the risk is low, even in this population of low risk, there is still benefits from maintaining endocrine therapy. So it's not just the decision for the doctor, it's a combination of the doctor and the patient who will accept to continue on treatment. Obviously, the person at higher risk will also have the higher chances to benefit from maintaining therapy and we will encourage those patients to maintain for more than five years endocrine therapy.